And welcome back to the uh, long run where we are playing Spyro Reignited Trilogy. And last time we finished Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. So, it's time to get started with the last of the original trilogy, Spyro Year of the Dragon. And of course, welcoming once again Zenner for the beginning of this. These are very responsible adults. And a cute bunny. What the hell is Hunter doing there? Yeah, he deserves that. Get her! Stop her! Yeah, Hunter as useful as ever, I see. Powerful villain emerges. I mean, yeah, it does, Tyrion. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. Uh, Zoe? But... Why... Why are these Avalar characters... Showing up in this game? That's my question. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Realms. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it! Sorry, Spyro, we forgot to tell you about the Forgotten Realms. By the way, you know how usually you, know, you start a game with the basic uh, skill set and any skills that you got in the previous game, your character has somehow completely forgotten about them? Not so in this game. You get to dive on this water isn't deep enough, but you get to dive, you get to climb ladders, and you get to head bash. You get to do all of these things that Spyro learned in the previous game. We are too big and strangely popular with the furry community to fit in that hole. Anyway, here's our MacGuffin for this game. Somehow, standing in front of one of the dragon eggs is going to make it hatch. Now, who is this? You're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back into that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find any eggs, our expertly trained armies would hunt you down and take them back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry, and you won't like me when I'm angry. 
do you turn into the Incredible Hulk? Also, the text box was super weird there. I don't know what happened there. Hey, Zoe. Hi, Spyro. To look left or right, use the right stick. Oh, so you're gonna tell me how to play this game that I've already played twice now. As if the controls have changed at all. Zoe, please. I mean, I guess they're trying to be, like, as close to the original game as possible. Except with an actual consistent cast so you don't end up with money bags suddenly voiced by Neil Ross. Spyro! My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. Ha <laughs> ha. Well... My business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorceress. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. So you're dealing in slavery? Am I getting that right? And at the very least, the kangaroo lady over there seems to be, like, sh almost shooting bullets out of her eyes. Directly into your face. The sorceress has asked me to guard Sheila the kangaroo. I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing to let her escape. Then you could keep her for a pet or something. Yeah, that's... That's exactly what's going to happen. Mm. Uh, so yeah. We gotta deal with... Money bags again too, and also this asshole. Joe Spyro, I just found one of those portal thing in the jigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. Oh, like this? Oh, but you meant toward the portal. All right. Shut up. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the action button at the end of your glide. Uh, the only other character who hasn't shown up yet in the game. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. Yeah, you should probably just give those to me as you find them. Also, I like how you exploded to over there. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Anyway, the only other character that we haven't seen... Oh yeah, I guess there's two characters. There's a Laura and there's a Professor. This is a super fly power-up, Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power-up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. Well, I guess I'll I'll leave it for when those characters might potentially come up. But um Ah, whatever. This, this is like a 25-year-old game. Yes, they do show up. I'm not. Sh I'm not telling you when. <laughs> oh crap! Oh no, I just got an email saying that my Netflix plan is expiring. Yeah, the Netflix plan that I absolutely don't have. Because I can't really afford uh, subscription services. 
Well, I kind of can right now, but like... Only for a limited time. That's the way I like it. If you like, I can change the game camera to active mode. In active mode, the camera adjusts itself based on your movement. No, okay, please don't I change, won't it. change it. What we had this understanding. Uh, <laughs> nice power slide there, is that? <laughs> Where'd you learn to do that? I'm late for a dinner party at the Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hatch. Uh, how do you rationalize that? I see an oh, egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Uh -huh. You could get it. You can dive underwater by pressing the charge button when you're on the surface, and charge underwater by holding down charge as well. Yeah, I really appreciate the fact that uh, they don't make Spyro forget his abilities for no reason. Alright, and that's all the eggs. Huh. Spyro, I've got a special task for Sparks. Meet me back here later, Zoe. We're doing the hot air balloon thing again, aren't we? Hmm. There doesn't seem to be a balloonist around, so I guess, uh... I'll have to come back to that later. And also that. I wonder what the deal is with that. They're gating our progress is we're going to need to get dragon eggs um, as we go in order to unlock new stages. I think we almost got all the gems here. Just missing a couple. Oh. There we go. And the first Home world is complete. Let's go take care of that uh, kangaroo lady. I mean, I did press Y. It just Y on my controller is slightly different. And also, this is fun to do. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> this pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape. 
If you were to pay me, say, a false me. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Uh -huh. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. You have no idea how much I want to punch you in the face. <laughs> I uh, hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Punt. <laughs> Can you be one of them dragons then? Yeah, name's Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out of the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit anytime you like. Okay, I guess we've now rationalized why the egg's hatching is making the portals light up. Anyway, let's give this one a try, because this time it ain't just Spyro. Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Hiya, Sheila. While you were gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take them back. Okay. So let's learn how to play as Sheila. Sheila has a double jump. It's going to be very useful. She also has this thing where, like... Ah, uh, there we go. If you jump and then jump again as uh, she lands, she does like a super bounce. Boing. And also, apparently. Uh, Sparks can lend its life force to, or Sparks can lend his life force to whoever he wants, rather than just to a dragon, which I thought was supposed to be the whole thing. You know, dragon, dragonfly. Also, apologies for calling Sparks an it there. Use the proper pronouns. Always use the proper pronouns. <laughs> Oops. Ah, home at last. Here, I was say this is to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more. Yeah, Ben, that would have been a hell of an omelette. Also, I hope I haven't, like, missed something. Oh, I did miss some gems over there. I can't believe Sparks is a kangaroo fly. Oh, okay. 
trying to time the double jump or the like bounce jump is a little tricky. Also, there are three eggs here. Also worth noting, and you may have noticed this already, Enemies have gone back to dropping money when they die, just like in the first game. So you do want to actually kill all of the, uh... and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff! I think the egg's about to smash itself. Born with the ability to do the chicken dance, which in French is the duck dance for some reason. That should permanently take care of these Rhinox. Get the thing. Now let's see. Make sure we got everything. Now. But yeah, I don't think Spyro really learns any new techniques in this game. The, the whole thing here is going to be additional characters. Thanks for the help, Sheila! Oh, you can have this egg I found in my house! That's all of the eggs here. Get how to control a character or vehicle? Just go to the pause menu and select control. Huh? Mind us? Oh. Fortunately, if you happen to mess up on the uh, the bounce jump and get a double jump instead, you can still bounce jump. This way? Did I miss one on top of here? Or... Oh, alright. I was just kind of hoping for that hit. 
I didn't know if I was actually aligned or not. Wait, what? Oh. Hiding all the way over there. Oh, okay, so then I have to go back in the stage in order to get the rest. Got it. And there we go. 100%. And as with the other two games, we can just exit the stage once we're done. No need to go back to the return home portal explicitly for really any reason. Unless, you know, it's right there. Big red button, you say? Don't mind if I do. Oh, goodness. Alright, that's on me. Hey, Zero, thank you for the resub. Nine months, man. We, we have gone a long way, by which I mean we haven't really gotten that far, but we've been doing this for nine months. One Spyro isn't flying unless you, can't, unless you count falling into a pit. I'm sure Spyro is going to be doing plenty of flying in this game too. Or Zenner, or anyone else who might decide to show up. Now hopefully we don't end up with the same issue with, uh, with Whirlwinds as we did in Winter Tundra. The metal armor those enemies are wearing protects them from your dragon flame. If you hold down the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. So here's a fun fact that probably a lot of people know by now, but for anyone who might not. Um, somewhere in the, I think it's in the first, um, homeworld. If the game detects that you're running a pirated copy, there, there's some subtle, like, differences between a pirate copy, like a burnt CD, and an actual copy of, uh, the game. I'm talking about the original, of course. Come on. Okay, so that's not good enough either. But yeah, uh, if it detects that you're running a pirate copy, at some point in the first home world, um, Zoe will run into you and say, like, sorry Spyro, you're playing a pirated copy of the game and things aren't going to work correctly as a result. Or things may not work correctly, it's like, Oh, okay. Well, I. Thanks for the warning, I guess. Except that's actually a flag that the game turns on. And at that point, like, the game will start acting more and more wonky. Things will just be missing from stages. Uh, the game will randomly quote unquote crash. 
and um, forget a bunch of progress. And if you can somehow manage to fight all of that and reach the final boss in the middle of the final boss fight, the game will crash one final time and when you go back to the tile screen, your save file is completely gone. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite dragon, the sorceress has put me in charge of guarding these bellows. However, I might look the other way if I was distracted, counting gems. <sighs> this asshole. Also, look at our total. That is the perfect number right now. <laughs> Precious, precious gems. Well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows any time you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. Oh yeah, uh, Earthbound is also a good example of uh, a game that does that crap. Uh, there is also, for example, um, Kirby's Dream Course. Remember, to get your longest glide, press the jump button at the very top of your jump and use the action button to hover at the end of your glide. Can do. But yeah, Kirby's Dream Course. So it had this thing where if it detected it was a pirate copy or a ROM or like whatever, not running legitimately. Um, so getting, uh, so getting into the hole is supposed to, uh, give you power up. Uh, hitting an, an enemy is supposed to give you power up. Uh, these things don't happen. So you get the health that you get, and if you get to the end of a, of the, uh, the first course, um, so you go into your rocket ship and it's supposed to like explode and then Kirby does a little dance. Once it gets to that explosion part, the game just freezes. And I did not understand this as a kid. I like I didn't understand that this was not supposed to happen. Oh, you activated the bellows. Maybe I can get the cloud generator working again. Who stuck that egg in there? The Rhinox must have been using this thing to clog up the cloud generator. <laughs> now what's in this? Oh, okay. Our sun has gone out. We can make Your sun has gone out? Cauldron and three sun seeds, but they keep burning out before we can get them in the pot. That sounds like a cataclysm to me. Step on the switch to get a fresh sun seed and keep flaming it until you get it into the pot. Hey, ugly. You suck and you smell bad. Am I doing a good job flaming it? I don't think that's what they meant. You shouldn't be worried about me dropping frames, you should be worried about me dropping flames.
Okay, I think that's all of the gems on the ground level here. There's a fire right there. Like, <laughs> cool spot or something. I mean, technically, he does kind of come out of the 90s. Now, that's what I call a sun. Here, you can have this last sun seed as a souvenir. You have... might be a dead, though. Have you never seen a sun before? Like a real one? Maybe it's just a mascot. I don't freaking know. Anyway, we got an egg. Uh, Sparks, is there anything over here? You're pointing to the portal, so I'm guessing now. Okay, that we went into a portal in the sky. All right, son of a bitch. We usually wake up our ring cloud at the crack of dawn, but these mischievous spirits are stopping our bells from ringing. Yeah, I'll worry about your spirits once I've got this son of a bitch. I overshot him. Where'd he go? Okay, this counterclockwise path is kind of an ass. Damn it. There we go. I guess I'm gonna need the uh, the flight power up here, and since I'm grabbing it, may as well deal with these spirits very poorly. Then. <sighs> really, come on. Problem is, I'm pretty sure the spirits eventually come back. That might only be if you land. Meanwhile, in ukulele.
Okay, any more? I guess no. Now, time to play our favorite game. How do I get up there? <laughs> I haven't been here yet, so maybe this is an indication. Ow! Eager! I think that's that uh, sufficiently answers the question of how to get up there. But the bonus of how do I get up here and get this egg? Named Claire. Containing this dragon. Co coincidentally also named Claire. You want me to go this way? There we go. Another one down, another one down, another one bites the dust. And then I'll get you too. Another one bites dust. Oh, so, what's going on here? God damn it, Hunter. <laughs> Look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and Pussy cats. Huh? Oh, thanks, but <laughs> we look after ourselves. Try looking after this. <laughs> Listen, Hunter is defenseless. Don't pick on him. When you finish witch school, okay? Say, is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? Hunter, now is not the time. Uh, so that, yeah, that's the first stage again. Dang it. Hunter, you're fired! At last, my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. Is this the Tiki Lodge? Now this is the Molten Crater. Why do you have a Tiki Lodge? next to or inside a molten crater. These people are not smart. Oh, so now we're back to having lockboxes, I see.
Also, you can flame these if you want to. I think they come back eventually. Yeah. I mean, I guess the flower would have to be flame resistant if it was going to survive here. Hey, Ricky. Not the Ricky I know, but uh, Ricky nonetheless. Oh, really? Rude ass game. Spicy meat to bowl. That's a spicy matzo ball. Okay. the dragonfly healthy Spyro if his health is low torch a little creature like the slug below me to release a butterfly <laughs> the slug's just like what you're telling him do what die die potato Spyro, low on health, commit murder. Born with the ability to be allergic to everything, I guess. Sergeant Burt, currently on an important mission to be it to to the inside of a cage. So this is how they're going to also gate our progress so that we have to come back to stages. Bitches. Actually, they paid me to guard their hideout, but that's irrelevant. I'll happily let you through the gate to chase them down for a small finder's fee. Yeah, I'm gonna find you, all right. I right, kick your ass. Thank you, Spyro. And best of luck catching those dastardly egg thieves. There's also a bunch of gems here, so uh, let's take care of those first. At least the ones on ground level. Skill point. Alright. Huh. wonder how we're going to break that strong bar. Strong box. How do you tap with boxing gloves on? Well, I've got your answer, Billy. 
Deleted! Bitch! Oh, bitch! Also, this looks a lot like that, uh, that track from the first game that made you supercharge. Hmm. I don't feel like we're going a lot faster right now, though. Not sure why that interrupted, but okay. But yes, this is actually supercharged track, just like in the first game. So that's how you open that uh, that strong box, and also I think there's something else here. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, other than. I'm sure if we go through this path long enough. The where's the other one? So here's a weak spoiler for y'all. There is supposed to be Another egg thief here. It's not here. Let me try to talk to that guy again. Hey, there goes another one. He was really fast. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to catch him. There's a son of a bitch. Ah. on the geometry here. And down I go. At least not to my doom. There we go. That's how you do it. Oh, did I overshoot him? You gotta be kidding me. Too fast, too furious. Pretty much. Dragon here. You know, I, I get the feeling like some of these eggs got a little scrambled in transit. I don't. I feel like they shouldn't all have boggling eyes and dunks sticking, sticking out. Oh, really? That's a great place. 
Uh, how do I get out of here safely? I guess that's how. What? I guess I can also kill this guy. Found a key. Let's see if we can get back to the beginning. I think there is a shortcut there. And this is not where it is. I think Sparks might have been pointing to it actually. Over in this direction. Yeah, this takes us back to the start. That gate is open now. And I get the feeling that you're pointing to that, uh, yeah. So that's all we're going to get for now. to next. Yay! My portal is working. I'll see you at the beach. Can do. Seashells, a uh, seashell shore. I wonder if she sells seashells by the seashore. Do you think she does? This this is not a shore. We're underwater. You've got some explaining. The Rhinox submarine. Then they took it for a joyride. And then they smashed it into a big pile of rocks. Oddly enough, the Rhinox failed to see the humor in their actions and stuffed my friends in the jail cell behind you. Well, that's a problem. Well, nothing I can do. Good luck with that. The Zenner, please stop getting stuck in the geometry. Trying to aim a uh, charge underwater is kind of annoying. Don't know if you noticed. There we go. So where do I go from here? Through here? I guess so. Well, I got options. Guess let's try here first. I can go. to open the guidebook page for the world you're in. Speaking of progress, this kind of looks like progress. What's the other way? Oh. Literally a dead end with a life inside. I guess that's a live end. I don't know.
So if we destroy all the seashells, does it just become shore at that point? Hey. Hey, Jason. How are you crying underwater? I mean, I guess you can cry underwater, but like, your tears would not be visible unless your tears are not made of water. Yikes. Nope. What is this Donkey Kong chicanery? Stop that. This room. Also, waste of resources. What are you doing? This is... this is wood. How is my flame not working? Structural integrity questions. I have many of them. Nope. Sir, please stop. Where are you even getting those from? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Thank you for adding your life and your life essence to mine. You can hover to get more distance when gliding. Yes, I know I can hover. Please stop. All right, well, here's a Sheila sub area. My friends are trying to take down a Rhinoc fortress. I'm about to go lend a foot. I love the smell of singed Rhinoc in the morning. It is quite satisfying, isn't it? Unfortunately, Sheila cannot swim underwater or particularly handle well in the water. She doesn't drown, as you can see, so at least there's that. Ow. Hi, Sheila! The Rhinox have built a fortress on our beach, and we're going to blow it to smithereens! We just need you to take out all the turrets for us. We're lighting the bomb now, so just make sure to stomp all those turrets before the fuse runs out, okay? Why are you lighting the bomb now? That seems like a terrible idea. Alright, well I guess I'm stuck doing this now. Because y'all are dumb. So I think this is specifically we need to destroy the turrets. So we don't need to destroy necessarily all of the boxes. Also, I'm doing a great job of getting hit by everything.
area. That was a lot of explosives. Yeah, neither can I. By the way, you're under arrest for endangering a dragon egg. These creatures are too cheery about all this destruction. By the way... Okay, yeah. For a second there I thought that uh, this game actually didn't have lives, but I think it still does. What are you pointing at? Oh! She went to Jared. I think now Sparks is pointing to the, uh, the zone portal. Yeah. Sir, please stop that. skill point did I get? <laughs> Ow. Okay, I have to know what skill point that was. Catch the funky chicken. Okay, I'll take your word for it, I guess. This kind of did that by accident. Well, just call me Popeye. Yik, 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 yik. Do you want to take on Pluto? Okay, good luck. Just remember, stay away from the sharp end. Yep. Why can I not fire at this gentleman? Okay, well, whatever. Oh, okay. I was wondering why I wasn't getting any speed. Then I realized, hey, there's an accelerate button.
So is there going to be more ammunition? Because there isn't any right now. Oh, there we go. Let's trade some hits there. Well, I guess I went down first. Blue, the Rhinoc has challenged us to a name. Woody, okay? I blame it on Zero because he said lose, 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 lose. Doesn't really matter how long they say they're going to, uh. Ow. Okay, I need to. How. What? How does this work? How does this fight work? Because he just spends most of it underwater. Like. I guess that's how to do it. What? You're fixing your ship? No, this is not acceptable. Not gonna lie, this fight's kind of super dumb. Stop that. Oh, come on! This is such a slow fight, and... Uh, shut up. Yeah, slow ammo spawn, and in order to draw the boss out, like, I have to kind of ration my collecting of ammo. Because he only comes up.
for two reasons. Either to fix his ship or to collect ammo. So if I collect all of the ammo, he's just going to stay underwater all the time. There. Good. No, it really wasn't. Wow, you murdered Bluto. Good job. Listen, Spyro and friends only know violence, okay? This is the world they grew up in. Really? Come on. I should have done the same the same to Bluto. Oh well. Really? They all came back? Probably because I died. Well, I hope I got all the gems out of them because that's gonna be annoying to have to figure out. I guess not that annoying because I do have Sparks' tracking ability. Which is technically a thing in the uh, in the first game. Except that you don't get it from the start of the game. You have to unlock it. Despite the fact that you didn't have to unlock it in Spyro 2. Dragon egg for you, but instead I used it to test our ultra high speed super fluidity tunnel. The Why? That it made it to the end of the tunnel without a scratch. The bad news is that there's no way to get it back out now. Maybe you could have thought of that before you used the egg to test your the only way to retrieve that egg is to defeat every single Rhinox in the tunnel. Why? All right, let's go into the turbo tunnel, I guess. Yes. I'm surprised I got that the first try. Anyway, there are no gems here. Let's get back out of here. My plan worked. That dumb octopus dropped the jail key while he was shaking me. Now I can free my friends. That's a dumb plan. Oh, I forgot to tell you. One of the 
Rhinox had this egg in his lunchbox. Uh huh. I guess one of the eggs had to be called Dizzy, right? Wait, what? Okay, time for that game again. How do I get up there? Is this anything? I don't think it is. How do I get up there? stairs and I should be able to no I, mean, I don't see any other way up there there we go never would have crashed that submarine if Sal hadn't tried a handbrake U-turn during an inverted barrel roll very important information you're imparting on me here there we go. Let's get out of here. Yeah, what's going on over here? You sure we shouldn't like find like maybe I should go back to the Dragon Home Worlds and get a balloonist. Well, I mean their the rationale here is like it they need to be heavy enough to pull it down so that I can actually use it. Anyway, speedway it is I guess. A little bit out of order, but whatever. And this is the official first time that Sparks ever says anything in this game, in this series. And it's just 
Rings, dandelions, spiders, butterflies. Not the fastest way, but it's the easiest. I mean, however you slice it, you're probably doing rings first. Because they're right here. Also, you might notice I'm not getting any time from destroying any of these. We have a hard time living for this. We missed a couple, but it's fine. All right. First try. Oh. Did I want to retry the flight challenge? No. Sabina the teenage. No, I guess not teenage. Anything. So yes, this is an actual race. You want to you want to finish first. And you absolutely can just destroy these butterflies. can yes i mean you can you can attack them and uh it'll stun them for a second basically ah crap i missed a ring and that's the thing with this if you miss a ring the race is over immediately Listen, with your unsportsmanlike talk here, they're withholding eggs from me. I missed it. Another technique to try to get a little bit of extra distance is um, run. Run on anything you can run on, as long as it doesn't cause you to miss a ring. Surprise, that was a hit.
Unfortunately, finishing second is not good enough. If you see the speedruns for this uh, for this race, ah crap! I ran into the freaking. If you see the speedruns for this race, they are just running on everything. Just bouncing everywhere, and it, it just looks completely completely bonkers. It's great. Missing that one. Get the frick out of my face. Accidentally press the button to hover. I wasn't going to win that one. Just remember, you gotta be flying in order to get the boost. You just run through a star, that ain't good enough. Ah! Mm. I ran into the mushroom and screwed myself. Cool. Alright, well if I'm gonna lose, it may as well be at the beginning. Road Rush style, pull out baseball bat as you pass. Ah, that's gonna leave a rash.
think we're doing all right this time. And I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna win this one. <sighs> but maybe I'm getting slightly better. Maybe. Actually, that's a pretty good idea. I just uh, kind of dive-bombed into that star, and that worked. Ah, come on! So I'm trying to do it too early is the problem. And this is the easiest one, might I add. I mean, if it's in this one, it's probably in the others too, right? Oh my goodness, can you please get your wings out of the camera? Ah, oh, come on! Sure, whatever. I actually deployed my wings too late there and I didn't get the speed boost, like I said. Also, I kind of ran into the wall in a weird way that made it so that I didn't get a full supercharge. Not really sure how I recovered that, but sure, why not? Also, I'm only in third place? What? How am I only in third place? How's first place all the way over there? Like, I've been to... I've had better runs, I think, but... Like, I... I've, I don't know. 
I'm having a hard time wordsing right now because this this race is not great. <sighs> Yep, second place. Fuck me, I guess. <sighs> and you gotta do this too, cause otherwise, like th there's this is for a dragon egg, so if you don't get it. You're not getting a hundred percent. There we go. You can manage to finish the first lap in third place. That's usually a pretty good sign. Usually. It's not, that is, of course, not a guarantee of anything, as you surely can tell. Please, 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 please. Holy crap. No, I'm good, thanks. Somehow. Even got under two minutes. If just barely. <laughs> I would like to get the challenge of get the fuck out of here. No, we won't. Yeah, in general, in general, this trilogy is quite enjoyable, even if I poke a lot of fun at it. That racing part is not one of those fun parts. We've been to Molten Crater. Okay, so where is... is it, I'm pretty sure there's another world somewhere. Unfortunately, Sparks cannot point me to it. And you're still just gonna tell me, hey, you still can't pull this down because there's no one in the world you were just at that can help us with that. And we did Cloud Spires.
seashell shore. We've done that. Molten crater. We've done that. What are we missing? Excuse me, what? There's another egg there! I forgot about that. <sighs> you know what? Fine, let's go do the other egg. Of course, I absolutely don't remember where I need to go for that. Fortunately, it, this does have the thing where, oh, you've done it once, don't worry about time anymore. If I'm not mistaken, I think Hunter's on top of one of these big mushrooms. Or maybe he's on top of this, I don't know. Or maybe I can't go on top of that. Yeah, this is my maximum height. Ah, where are you, you stupid, dumb cat face? Buffoon cat face. I have run out of wards, apparently. Maybe he's on one of these islands. <laughs> there you are. Not again. Looks like I'll have to hop in my plane and teach him some manners. Look out, sheep! Here I come! Good! Whoa! A bunch of sheep and flying Oh, and then you're just going to exactly repeat the same thing you just said. What? What even hit me? Hunter, maybe I should take care of this. <sighs> Immediately take down three and just slightly clip the geometry of that, uh, of that mushroom and die. God damn it. Whoa, looks like, look at Hunter is going to be quote unquote useful. If we're going to... That, and that time I clipped into the friggin' log and that was perfectly fine. But 
But if we're if we're going to have uh, Silver Surfer rules, then I demand ten full music. Because that man's like Batman's NES music is absolutely like S tier quality. Oh, there's the last, the last hole. How did that miss? Problem is, they move so much faster than I do. <sighs> really? So I can't, like, chase behind him. I wouldn't want to anyway, because friggin... <sighs> there we go. Check it out. The squad leader had abducted this egg. Dater. Didn't get any gems. Oh well. So we still need to figure out where that last stage is and go clear that out before we can actually use that hot air balloon. But frankly, I have no idea where to look. Sunny Villa, there's nothing else behind here. Like, usually these home worlds aren't quite this complex. Like, they are to some extent, but like, you can still figure out where you gotta go. Shell Shore. I don't know, unless I have enough now? I don't know. I want to repay you for saving me. Yeah, no, I still don't have enough. Zoe, can you tell me where there's another... Just telling me about camera angles. I don't know. I think I'm just going to have to figure this out on my own and call it a stream for today. <laughs> So thank y'all for hanging out. Uh, thank you to Zero Tyrion and uh, Sim Guy, and also Zero for the resub. Uh, the next scheduled stream is going to be on Saturday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. It is the extra long run stream 
which is going to be Xenoblade Chronicles 3, and it is going to be a finish or bust stream, which means it could go up to an additional two hours if it needs to. Hopefully it doesn't need to. Um, if it doesn't go too late, I am planning on doing the, uh, the last day of the Advent of Code immediately following that stream. Um, the next stream after that is going to be on uh, Christmas at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Standard Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle, and as long as we have at least two players doing it, I'm still going to be there doing it, because I don't really have any other plans for Christmas at this current time. That could change, but right now I don't. Uh, and that takes us round week, round wheel to our next uh, long run stream. We're going to continue our run of Spiral Reignited, uh, Year of the Dragon, and hopefully find that last world in this uh, in this home world. By the way, for anyone who wasn't here, um, we have our next long run game. It is a game requested by Mazzy. We're going to be playing Chrono Trigger. So that I imagine we're probably going to be on this game for another like two maximum three streams. So um, starting early in the new year we're going to be playing us some Chrono Trigger. And I have not played that game in a very long time so if I play badly, that's why. Um, anyway, that is going to do it. Oh, and I, al I also have the next game after that plan, but I'm not going to talk about it just yet. So that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.